Hi, and welcome. I'm Penny. And uh, Tessa and I work with a group. Um, the physical group is the Academy Resource Center, and that's at 79 New Montgomery. We also, we are completely online. What we are, we, we're academic coaches. Uh, each of us have, we have a different department that we kind of oversee. So just to get, know who I'm talking to, how many of you have had more than two semesters online? Okay, so you guys, there are many veterans here to the online. We're academic online coaches, academic support. We're gonna breeze through what we have to offer over at online academic support. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is where you can always find us. We basically are problem solvers and we kind of lead to all roads at the academy. So if you have a question near your um, student profile picture, there'll be an academic support link, okay? So that's where you go. We basically, Tessa and I, we are coaches. We talk to people, you know, virtually through, whoops through the, um, there's an uh, Adobe Connect uh, office that we can talk to students on as well as on the phone, uh, as, as well through email. We talk to people about time management support. Uh, in the orientation, we actually had people do uh, weekly schedules. We can always revisit that every semester if, if you need help with that. Discussion participation, which is about 30% of most online classes, um, we can help with that. We can uh, connect you with um, people who can help you over at the online writing lab. Um, communication with instructors and other classmates. Um, it can be a little confusing. There's um, several different ways to connect, either through the, that little envelope in the upper right-hand corner with your teacher or in the instructor's office. Uh, you kind of have to know your class policy to know which is the best way to connect with the teacher. Um, and then navigation of the online system, uh, we're, we're always doing that, and that was pretty much what orientation was all about. Um, and just to leave you with, we, we can connect you to these online workshops, online labs live, which is content tutoring, uh, online language support, as well as accessibility services. And Tessa, I think you're gonna talk about the first, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, so online workshops are run through your departments. Hopefully you guys know all about that. I just wanted to quickly point out that they are accessible on your homepage. And when Melinda's talking about getting to know your departments and all of that, um, I think this is a great way to, these are full-time faculty members in those workshops, and it's a great way to start having your work reviewed by faculty um, and get to know them and develop a relationship in that context. Um, and so when you're here for the expo, you're gonna kind of have um, the real life experience of that workshop. And then when you go back, uh, you can kind of remember that that's what that's all about. Okay. And then we just wanna talk about Online Labs Live. That is how you can connect with tutoring on campus, I mean on, in the online campus. Um, and I don't know, have any of you used Online Labs Live? Yeah, like one, two? Um, that's another great way to kind of have somebody looking at your work consistently and getting good feedback um, from our wonderful tutoring staff. Um, a lot of people think of it as more like remedial help because there are students here who, when they're starting in their programs, need a little more support. But I like to think of it as a great way to just get extra time with a tutor to be reviewing your work, helping you with your portfolios, all of that kind of stuff. Here's an example. So um, we showed you a piece, the last slide was a, a piece of the schedule, okay? And so when you go in, this is um, how the tutoring actually happens. So it's a, a virtual office. Uh, the tutor has um, control over each of these squares, which are pods. 
Uh, you can always see there's like a attendance list who's coming in. It is group tutoring, but like it's not, there's usually not 20 people in there. Usually it's maybe under five. Um, and then um, the, the instructor, the tutor can share their screen, they can show videos, and uh, there is a place for you to ask questions right there. And um, so this is the interface, um, one of the more interesting interfaces that um, you can see in ARC Online Live Labs. Um, next. Okay, so the other thing we'd have is online language support. Um, online language support is, it can happen, um, this is the website for it, and as you can see, these are the links. There's Online Writing Lab. We have uh, tutors that are available 24-7. Um, uh, you usually, if you have, um, want to have feedback on your writing, you usually submit it. You have 24 hours and the, the tutor will give you feedback. The other thing is we do have an online speaking lab, especially for um, the masters, MFAs, who are doing their midpoints and their presentations. So most of the time, MFAs are going to have to do their finals via that last interface that I just showed you. And usually you have a, a camera. You know, you've got to kind of get used to operating it uh, because you're going to be presenting to a panel of uh, instructors. But um, there's other, you know, it, they have presentation aspects to there. Also, there are links to grammar tutorials, plagiarism citations, writing, reading, speaking, and listening. Next class. Can you next? Great. And so this is inside classes. You may have seen on the discussion board something that's called maybe language and writing support. And this is part of the Resource Center Support Services. This is um, an instructor who maintains a thread the whole semester and is available for both international, domestic students, people who are having more questions uh, about the class. And so in that thread, there's discussion of content uh, of the class as well as expectations of the teacher. So it's just someone to bounce ideas off of. Um, it, it, it's a, w a wonderful opportunity. Um, they are not in all classes. You'll mostly notice them in liberal arts classes, right? Um, but they can be requested as well. Mm -hmm.